Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am just sitting here in my room at home actually as you can see I am home and today I am filming a much awaited, I guess it's not really awaited, but I have been wanting to film this video, so I've been the one waiting um, to make a Q&A life update, super like just chill personal video. I actually have like all the lights turned off, it's just the window as my main light right now, and I really just wanted to sit down um, now that I have some time to breathe, just being at home, I wanted to update you guys on my life and how things have been going and just answer some questions, share some exciting news with you guys and just kind of keep you up to speed because I like to do these every so often and I feel like it's actually been a while since my last one. So I'm very excited. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions. That's where I always ask. So if you ever want to ask me a question, feel free to DM me or if you follow me, then you'll see like these um, Q&A stories from time to time. First question, how has school been? So I'm gonna just take this as like a how have the last three months been sort of question because I feel like that is something I would like to answer. So this past term of college, uni, has been really, really just chaotic and stressful for me. Kind of rough um, past few months if I'm being completely honest because Basically, since the year started, um, I've just felt really overwhelmed. I found my classes a lot more challenging this year, which I mentioned, I think, in a couple of videos ago. The primary reason that this semester was difficult for me was that I was dealing with a lot of health issues with my skin. I mentioned this in a, another video, but if you didn't see it, basically since January, honestly, since December of last year, I was having a little bit of issues with my skin. And at first, I just thought it was like dry or sensitive skin. I was like, maybe it's eczema, maybe it's just irritated, I have no idea. And then in February, I had a skin infection and this was when everything kind of started going south. I personally thought, yeah, just get like a skin cream and everything will be fine. It turned out to be like tons of doctor's appointments, multiple different medications, and I'm still on the last week of my antibiotic that I took for like six weeks. I had no idea what was triggering like this response in my skin. I was getting like rashes on my arms and my legs. My skin basically just exploded with inflammation and I had like redness and rashes and bumps everywhere and it was just really stressful to deal with because I was trying to like go to school and also handle this problem and it also of course made me like very self-conscious so I stayed at home a lot more which made my mental health a lot worse so I ended up just kind of feeling super isolated now that I'm home I feel like a million times better already just having this time also to clarify my skin diagnosis was rosacea though I'm still getting a second opinion and I always recommend seeing a doctor anytime you experience any health problems whatsoever as you can see from this video my skin is doing much much better which I'm super happy about and I just wanted to give you guys a little update on that all that to say, I have just been trying to really take care of myself mentally, physically, emotionally. I have changed up my diet a lot since all of this started happening because I didn't know if these skin problems were coming from like an immune system or nervous system problem. So I have been changing up what I'm eating and trying to have an anti-inflammatory diet. But this actually leads me into the sponsor of today's video, which is Tula Skincare. This is a company that I recently found out about, but I'm really excited to share with you a little bit about their products. So Tula is a doctor founded clean and effective skincare and wellness brand. And 100% of the products are formulated with superfoods and probiotics. First product I think is really cool. Cool. it's called the glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm this is like a spa treatment for my eyes you guys like it feels so good and it's just like the most refreshing thing to apply they also sent me a foaming cleanser and a moisturizer and acne spot treatment and I think these products would be really great if you have oilier or acne prone skin you can also take the skin quiz on the Tula website to get a personalized skincare routine and they have products for all different skin types Tula products are cruelty free and never tested on animals and Tula focuses on being healthy, not perfect. They want to empower everyone in their community to feel confident in the skin they're in now. So thank you very much Tula for partnering with me on today's video and you can get 15% off your Tula order if you use the code Katie Haran. So I'll have a link down below where you guys can check it out. 
Okay, so moving on to my probably most requested question that I got, which is where am I moving for my term abroad or where am I moving next? If you guys don't know, I'm doing a second master's degree after this year and I have one term abroad during that time. And I just recently received my placement for my term abroad. So without further ado, I will be moving to Norway for my fall semester abroad. And I am so excited you guys i really have wanted to go to scandinavia for the longest time it looks so beautiful like i will insert some pictures it looks unreal and i feel like going to somewhere that's just super naturally beautiful and peaceful where i can spend some time outdoors and get some fresh air i think will be really really good for me it'll be kind of a nice change from the city life that i've been experiencing i feel like i'm definitely supposed to have this semester abroad i think i'm really going to have a period of growth hopefully a lot of peace and a lot of fun as well so i'm really excited so please send me any recommendations you have for norway and scandinavia in general anywhere that i should travel to any tips for life or recommendations or anything like that i would greatly appreciate it and i am super super excited so that is where i will be and because i know i will get this question my boyfriend yulian is not going with me unfortunately it would have been really really fun but he got a different placement for his term abroad and i'm really excited for him i really think that we're both super independent and i like feeling that i'm independent but still have like my life partner that i can rely on i know that my boyfriend will be visiting me so you guys will still see him in the vlogs of course but i think i'm gonna have such fun content to share with you guys for this semester in norway so i absolutely cannot wait i think it's going to be so much fun so leading into the next question is what are my plans post grad so as you guys know i'm doing my second master so once that's over with guys <laughs> i need a break at this present moment in time when i am not even done halfway with my grad school i can envision myself taking a very nice gap year or even like half of a year doing like kind of like a gap half year this is also a question i got it's anything about like missing the u.s coming back to the u.s anything like that um i don't talk about this that much because you guys are seeing like obviously like the highlights of my life abroad but it is really hard for me to be away from home my mom is like my best friend and so being away for such extended periods of time can be really difficult for me and especially with corona going on right now i can't come home as much as i would like to because every time i do come home i'm just trying to be extra safe and it's kind of a risk to get on the plane in the first place i would love to take a couple of months after i'm done with my master's degree to just chill to be at home to travel a bit if it's you know safe of course and then maybe even do like an internship or something like that just to get a little bit more experience before i fully jump into like my first full-time job of course this is just how i feel at the present time because i have been working my butt off over the past like few months and i definitely would like a break because i feel like it would definitely be warranted i've been working really hard i've been working hard on my youtube i've been trying to make really good content for you guys i feel like it will be super super beneficial for me to take a little bit of time after i graduate to really self-reflect and think about what i want my next move to be so i'm excited for that period of time and that's kind of where i'm at right now but it could change i may get an amazing job offer and just decide to go for it so we have to just see okay my next question i will kind of talk about like where in the world i'd like to go after my master's because i just answered what i would like to be doing but i didn't really talk about where i'm moving and this is like a huge question that i got which is like where do i want to move do i want to stay in spain do i want to go to germany do i want to go to the us do i want to go somewhere different and I don't have an answer for this question that's like a hundred percent for sure because like i said i would like to first take a few months off but afterwards if i had to make a educated guess about where i would end up being i would say that i still see myself abroad i see myself for sure going to the us at some point because i definitely feel like you know this is where i grew up i have like a huge tie to like living in the us of course being american if i could guess i would say probably like atlanta or new york i would say one of those two cities most likely because atlanta is you know my home where i grew up and then new york because i've always wanted to live in new york for like the next immediate few years of my life i really do see myself staying abroad I enjoy it so much this is kind of another question like why do I li like to live abroad or something like what's the appeal and for me I really love 
learning new languages and being surrounded by different cultures and really just seeing a different part of the world than what I'm used to. So at this point, I definitely could see myself living in Germany for some time, of course, because I am learning German. I do have a German boyfriend and I really do love Germany. I think it's an amazing country to live in, but I also can imagine living somewhere completely new, for example, in Asia or Australia. I have been really looking at like Taiwan because I'm half Taiwanese, if you guys didn't know, or Japan or South Korea so I am just really open to moving to a lot of different places and I think that that would be a super fun way to spend my like young to mid 20s just like traveling around a little bit and getting some work experience and yeah if it's possible and if I can get a job or if I can get a visa then I would definitely consider moving to a lot of places I'm gonna end this video with a nice nice positive question this question is any goals that I have this summer living in Barcelona. So as you guys know, it's my last um, term in Barcelona until, until 2022. And I want to live this summer up. Like I had kind of a rough patch as you guys know over the last few months and I'm so ready to just be healthy, to eat cleaner, to just like have taken good care of myself to just like be out in the city go to the beach go on walks go to my restaurants and just like have a good time i love living in barcelona so much i think barcelona is such an incredible city to live in and i want to really enjoy it in these last few months so that is exactly what i plan to do i would love to get into a consistent workout routine because over the past um few weeks as i've been having these issues with my skin i've taken a break from working out because i've found that like working out and like sweating can really like cause inflammation as well in my skin so i've been trying to be a little bit careful i would honestly just like to enjoy the time with my boyfriend since we are going to be doing long distance in the fall and i just want to have like a happy a happy semester i want to make lots of videos for you guys i want to make progress learning german and i just want to get to a place where i'm mentally like in a very peaceful and happy headspace and so i feel like i'm literally halfway there just by having this time to kind of rest and recharge so i hope you guys liked this video i will talk to you guys in my next video very soon i love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you for constantly supporting my channel i also look so washed out right now from this window lighting but it's fine and um i will talk to you guys in my next video very soon bye